Well, hello everybody. I'm about to do a Brendan-style potato reveal. My Cara potatoes are ready to have a look at, and uh, I'm hoping there's a good supply of them down below the soil. The plant has been growing, as I think I've said, from I don't know, so probably sometime in March. It started in the house because I was scared it would spoil. Anyway, we'll have a look at that in a second. A little look around at a few things in the hoop house, and I'm standing now in the squash bed here. I want to show you squash climbing trees, and the little chickens are four weeks old today, so a little clip to finish up with the Chanticleer chicks, four weeks old. Well, I'm doing a Brendan, a bacon soda type potato reveal here. Brendan, that is the uh, smart pot that had the one very small surviving cara potato. I wish I could say that with a wonderful Irish accent, but I can't. Anyway, whatever is in there came from one very tiny uh, cara. The other five that you sent me, of course, Canada Post froze them to death before they gave them to me. Anyway, uh, this was started in the house. I'm not really certain of the date, but I was scared that it was going to rot, so I started it under lights in the house sometime probably in March. And as you can see, it has completely died back. So let's have a look at what's inside here. Already I'm pleased, Brendan. Get a basket here to put them in. Actually, knowing the size of what I grew, what I planted here, and what I'm getting is amazing. Certainly better than my uh, Yukon Golds are doing in the regular garden here in the soil. I should have brought her a bigger basket. That's it. That is amazing. I will uh, wash those off and give you a better look at them. But that came from one little seed potato. If I can find one here small enough to give you an idea. I don't know. I think I have anything here. That it was a small. It was a smaller seed potato than that. More slender rather than chubby like that. That is amazing. I'm going to have some cowries to try and try to keep them through the winter as well so that I can plant more next year. But I think something that I just learned, I don't know, I've always planted two or three seed potatoes in one of those uh, smart pots. I think one's all I'll put in them from now on. Give you a look at them a second after they get Hopefully you can read that. I brought my kitchen scales out and I have it set in the English system, pounds and, and ounces. And I just rinsed these off in the, with the garden hose. See what I get for weight here. Some of them, as you can see, have scab on them. I didn't use any lime. But what I did use was a commercial planting mix, and evidently it was too alkaline. It doesn't hurt the potatoes at all. You can still eat them, just not as attractive. And they weren't all that way, as you can see. Some of them are what I would call perfect, Brendan. I don't know, when, when you're digging yours, I don't recall if they had these little pink eyes or not. Is that something to do with the alkaline soil as well?
something else. That is very close to five pounds. Four pounds, 15.05 ounces, so four pounds, 15 ounces. That's amazing for one small seed potato. I'll see if I can change that without shutting it off, if I can change that to the metric system. Yeah. It's 2.241 kilograms. Two and almost two and a quarter kilograms of potatoes from one very small seed potato. Well, thank you, Brendan. I'm going to save several of these for seed potatoes for next year. Hopefully they don't spoil on me over the winter, but I'm looking forward to having caro potatoes with dinner this evening. The six uh, pickling cucumber plants that are growing up two chicken wire trellises are doing remarkably well. To get the size that I want, I have to pick now every other day, and I'm storing them up in the refrigerator, crisper drawer, whatever, uh, until I get enough to fill a, a gallon picklemeister jar to make uh, lacto-fermented dill pickles, my favorite pickle. Anyway, I'll show you what I got in today's harvest here in just a minute. Well, that's this morning's harvest of pickling cucumbers. I'll have to check. I think the variety is called Calypso. Anyway, uh, they will grow much larger. Every once in a while I find one that's been hidden. That would still make a good pickle, I guess, but I want to do my dill pickles this size this year. Fermented dill pickles. I think when you buy them in the store that size, they call them baby dills. Anyway, I like that. The small whole cucumber stays much crunchier. Oh, my artichoke blossom has really started to bloom out. I think there's more of the, whatever you want to call them, little blue petally things to come yet. And I haven't seen any bees around it. I can get it tilted over there without breaking it off. Yeah, there's more coming down in the inside of it. it almost it looks like plastic and it almost feels like plastic it doesn't look quite real anyway i hope it uh, gets successfully pollinated so that uh, i'll be able to save some seed to try this thing again next year little seedlings or artichoke plants whatever that were coming up down at the base are doing quite well there are three there now i still don't know if i have a chance of those carrying on in here this fall and giving me some more late artichokes hopefully i don't know if you can see any of the smaller broccoli heads over in there or not but the late planted brassica plants planted in i guess the third week of july are really doing quite well the cabbage plants here in the foreground are starting to head up the small heads on all of the broccoli plants i haven't seen any heads on the uh, cauliflower yet but I'm encouraged because the leaves are growing the way they're supposed to grow this time. Earlier in the summer it was too hot in here and the leaves only got to be quite short. But with these tall leaves covering the center, it should mean that uh, if I get heads of uh, cauliflower that they will keep them in the shade and they'll be nice and white instead of turning yellow. I'm not sure if you can see the piece of garden twine coming off the side of my bean tower there, but I've put one of those on both sides and they're both tied to supports that uh, other beans are growing up on the smaller raised beds there. Mainly because tonight we are forecast to have 50 uh, kilometer an hour winds. And in the English system I think that's around 30 miles an hour. Which is not unusual at all for this area. We would consider that quite a mild day in the winter time here. But uh, with the leaves on these, I'm a little concerned that they might get toppled. So anyway, if they go in either direction, there's a bit of garden twine to hopefully stop them from toppling over. Give you a look at some beans. I'm finally getting hopefully beans. Hopefully I'm showing you some beans in there. bean tower they're just starting to size up and oh, there are a few I'll probably pick some of them this evening as well but over in the other one of the other garden beds here I noticed when I walked by the back of the trellis yesterday it had quite a few large beans so I have more than enough for a meal and hopefully soon I'll be canning. Around here the winter squash grow in trees. <laughs> I don't know that particular squash I'll show you, you know, zoom back here in a minute where it's at but that's a good size squash it must 
at this point must be weighing three or four pounds and uh, it's one of two vines that have gone up trees and I've got squash hanging in the trees Sorry for the bouncy bouncy, but I'm hand holding the camera for this. It's a warm late summer day. I let them out thinking I would get some pictures of them around on the grass, but Mother Hen had another idea. She's taken them off into the trees where it's shady. Where evidently there are lots of bugs and things to be enjoyed. Anyway, the little guys are almost completely feathered out. Still got some new feathers coming in, and they've really grown quite big. And they're quite good hunters. I've seen them catch and eat green caterpillars and small worms and all sorts of things. very shy of me either. First thing when I let them out they all get around my shoes and stand on my shoes pecking at my toes. Well, I guess that guy's going off into the trees. Well thank you very much for watching.